Now to an inspiring program that's bringing biblical teachings to children in public schools. We've all heard about the phrase separation of church and state and that atheist groups have worked for years to keep any mention of religion out of public schools. But it may surprise you to learn that teaching the Bible to public school children during school hours is entirely legal if you follow the right procedures. We're joined now by Joel Pinton, the founder and CEO of LifeWise Academy. Joel, thank you for joining us here on Centerpoint. Joe, thanks so much for having me. This is such a great story, Joel. You guys now have groups of Bible classes in 325 plus schools. That's spread out in 12 states. That's 35,000 children. So I guess the question that a lot of people are wanting to know, did you run into any governmental restrictions when you set this up back in 2019? Well, we didn't because what few people realize is that in 1952, 70 years ago, the Supreme Court ruled that public school students can actually be released from public school during school hours to receive religious instruction if the program is off school property, privately funded, and students have parental permission. This has been under the radar for 70 years. Uh, we learned this was possible, and so we said, let's put together a program that any community could implement. We started in 2019, and sure enough, a few years later, we are serving, as you said, more than 300 schools nationwide. During school hours, I think that's the phrase that a lot of people uh, have issues with or think about and go, wait, that really happens during school hours? So tell us how that is set up. Yeah, well... It can be incorporated into a school schedule, uh, whether it's during a library time, during a lunch and recess time, or during a free period. We work with the school so that each student can receive a Bible class once a week. So in the same way kids get art class once a week, they get music class once a week. They can also have Bible class once a week. And so we have a 10-step launch process. Any community can start by going to our website. We walk them through the process. We talk with the school. And before they know it, there could be a Bible class uh, in the community of all your listeners. Okay, so you just said we talked to the school. Tell us about some of the feedback you get, not only from parents. We know that's a lot of times that's real positive. But tell us about uh, some of the feedback you get from school board members or superintendents or even teachers. Well, it's been overwhelmingly positive, which shouldn't surprise anybody. The studies have shown for decades that religious instruction, Bible education in a student's life has a positive impact. When a kid has Bible education in their life, their grades go up, their behavior improves. So schools are reaping these benefits. We've done studies now that show that when a school has LifeWise Academy, their attendance goes up, their in school and out of school suspensions go down. And so, frankly, uh, school board members, principals, teachers, by and large, are loving it. And are these Christians uh, leaders in the school system, or have you had any feedback from those who uh, oppose it but but think, wait a second, this this is actually helping my students. I, I welcome it. Yeah, well, at times we get some pushback. Uh, usually, that's people that just have a particular. Um, vendetta, I guess you could say, <laughs> against religion or against the Bible. But by and large, even people who aren't Christians see the value. They know that kids need character education. They know that there's uh, problems with, with students and with the next generation, that, that they need something in their lives. And so certainly Christians see the value, and they know that the Word of God changes lives. It calls kids to life. It transforms uh, eternities and, and lives. Uh, but even those who aren't Christians are seeing the changed lives. And so they're seeing the value. Seeing that benefit, no doubt about it. You mentioned your website a minute ago. I went earlier, tons of videos of younger kids, first through fifth grade. And it, it, it seems as if they're all enjoying it right now. Is it just through first through fifth? And do you have any plans for expanding to middle school or the high school level? So we tend to start at the elementary school level, grades, as you said, one through five. And we, in fact, will teach students through the entire Bible over five years. They'll start in Genesis and end in Revelation. By the time they're done with fifth grade, we and every lesson, we teach a Bible lesson and, and point it to Jesus. How does this uh, point to the gospel? However, we do see our programs expanding beyond that. In fact, they've already started. We are going to be serving over 50 middle schools this year. We'll also have some high school programs. In fact, some of our high school programs are for high school credit. Some of them are even 
uh, for college credit. And so, yeah, this can be a full K through 12 program. And tell us where folks watching can find LifeWise Academy and more information. Yeah, I would invite everybody to check out our website, lifewise.org. As you said, there are many videos there. Uh, you can take a virtual tour of one of our programs. You can uh, hear testimonials. But most importantly, you can click Find Your School, and you can find out if there's already an effort in your local community. And if there's not, you can start one. Again, we have a simple 10-step process to get this going, and it all starts with a signature campaign with collecting 50 signatures in your community. You can find your school district. You can add your name to the list. You can share that around, see those signatures accumulate, and see the Lord raise up the people for this task. All right, great news. Joel Pitton, LifeWise Academy, thank you for sharing this information about a great program that you're doing, and uh, we appreciate you coming on Centerpoint. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.